Hi guys, welcome to my review of the Indesit Fridge Freezer Free Froster. I'm gonna start off with the energy and all of this. Sorry for the early saying it, but it's an A plus model if you wanna find this fridge freezer. It uses 256 kilowatts. It's 156 liters and 81 liters in uh, yeah 156 liters in the fridge and 81 liters in the freezer. 45 decibels. Um yeah. It's a four star freezing. And let and now the noise level I'll just give you it. This is just standing from the door. So it's very, very quiet. I can barely hear it. Um, so, it's in white. You can get it black. I'm not sure about silver. Sorry. It's nice. you got a nice little logo thing in here. And I've even took out one thing so I can show you loading it. Let's look inside, shall we? So the freezer, oh, sorry I get confused between this, so in the fridge you get three shelves to put your things on, I put drinks and all kinds of stuff up here, so three shelves, this shelf is designed that you can put little slim things in it, even this egg carton can go in. See? Actually, it was in there originally. I'm going to put it back in. Now, down here, we've got the last shelf, the biggest shelf. And also, where the free frost is, is a little device that just goes into here. Then we've got a vegetable drawer. Not divided, I'm afraid, but... It's still a vegetable drawer. Pretty nice one. And it's a see-through. And again, free frost, so you can't really see. And um, you, you can see the thing. It does restrict it, so that's a good thing. Right, so shelves. You get a lot of space on the shelves. This is for cheeses and anything else. Maybe even cans. This is for little things like your... Uh, pesto, olives, um, and, you know, stuff that, there, that's just showing you that, this is for your drinks, so very good, it's strong, well, maybe not that strong, but it's good for its price. This fridge was £360. No, actually not pounds, that's England. $360, so pretty good. The dial is here, which just goes from all the way to here, which is actually past the max. And I keep it at here. It's light, illuminates the whole fridge when it's at night time, which is always good. And I think that's pretty much all about the fridge. Oh, and I'm not sure about its antibacterial coating. I don't think it has one. In there, you can see that sticker. I'm sorry I can't get to it, but if you buy this fridge for yourself, then you'll be able to see it. You should. Oh, I didn't film it in the um, thing where there was nothing in it and it's just been delivered. Mind you, this fridge, the man who delivered it from AO.com said 24 hours standby before you turn it on, which I did. I followed it. And it's been working great. I've nearly had this fridge freezer for one year, to be exact. The freezer 
is a free frost, and as you can see, you got three draws. This being your super freezing box, bind us it, and you can fit lots. As you can see, you can fit a lot in there. And um, you've got a nice top freezing box. That uh, top freezing box is a super freezing. Now I'm also going to show you something. Just give me a sec. This comes with a shelves. Each one has it. Each um, under each drawer it has a shelf. And that's great if you want to put in a big turkey. There's your free frost fan. And if I pull this out, you can see it just goes all the way down to the base where it just travel recirculates the air around and around and around. And this is um, the door design. Nice squares. And that's the bottom. So the free frost ends right here. This is a four star energy, not four star freezing efficiency. It's nice door. Without that draw, this is what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to put that draw back. See you in a sec. As you can see, each draw is restricted to an extent. That one gets less restricted because it's not as long. See how this one's are longer? This one's less longer but deeper. That's why it's not as much. But you can see they all get restricted. That's great if um, your kids like if your kids like to yank out drawers. I don't suggest you let them do it. I'm not saying let them do it, but in if, in case they do then you should be alright. But I don't suggest doing it because that these drawers look doable. They somewhat are but can still be broken. So this is the defrost. Now look at the back. That is a free frost, not off. It's a cl easy clean back. So the sides here get warm because the coils have to distribute the heat around. The drip tray is located on top of the compressor. Sorry about that, that's my a notification. Anyway, um, the drip tray is on top of the compressor. So, and there's a pipe that goes in. There's actually two pipes, so it diverts the pipes. So there's two, and they drip the water from the fridge into. Through this hole that I was telling you about. It's a very nice... Now, the reason... This is my view. So look, where my eyes are, this is what I'm seeing. So I'm actually taller. Yeah, our old fridge was taller than this. But I don't see that being an issue. It's been working perfectly ever since one year. And I have followed it the 24-hour leaving. It's a reversible door. That goes for both, both of the... I think both... No, the freezer you can't... No, sorry, the freezer you can't reverse. But... The fridge, you can. Because look where the hinges are on the freezer. Don't think you can reverse that freezer door. You can reverse the fridge door, however. So at least you have one door that you can actually reverse. But I just don't see how hinges will be able to be taken out. Because look, they do give you a little thing you pried out with a flat Phillips head screwdriver, so I don't see how that'd be. 
if you can't do it yourself, I highly recommend you call a professional because I really don't want you damaging your fridge freezers. Uh, it's nice. It's in white. You can see there's no handle. The old fridge had a handle sticking out, which you would do like this. So come out and you'd do that. Same with the freezer. This one has an integrated handle. I like that a lot more. It makes it look a lot nicer. So with the freezer, you just yank, um, simply and quite easily open it like that. However, with the fridge, there's these two little holes. See, that's for if you're doing it the other side. So if you were to open it this way, this one's for that. But this one is for us because we do it like that. So you put your fingers in, and pretty easily it opens. It does have a bit of suction when you do that because of the seal, which you can actually see here. So you know if something's wrong with the seal because you'll know there's more, well, there's at, there will be gaps. I do not like the fact there's a little gap on top though. Although, I guess that's so you can see the door seal on top. But I don't really think it is, and I don't really like the fact they put that there. But I'm not going to throw out this fridge. I love this fridge. It's brilliant. You know, people, they hate Indesit. And I can't understand why would you hate I Indesit. They're a brilliant company. I mean, my dad has an Indesit. That's it. A well, washing machine. And it's, it's been cleaning like any washing machine. It's been cleaning just like my Bosch Excel. I don't understand. And it makes me quite angry when people hate companies. Because they call them such rude names. And actually, I'm not even going to say this. They call in their set a really rude name. And I am sick of it. So, don't lie in their set. Your company should keep going because I've been impressed with this fridge. It's been cleaning so well and not cleaning so well. <laughs> it's been free it's been keeping everything cold. And you know, I'm very pickish about my milk and my drink. See that tomato juice was one of my drinks and that milk was as well. Um I'm very pickish about them becoming warm. So this fridge has actually been keeping them well cold. Cold to a point where even adding ice would make it Make you get brain freeze. Thank you, Indesit. You've been a real pleasure to our house. You've been, you've not been loud. I could be sitting over there and I wouldn't even hear it. That means if we're watching TV, what well, like a movie, we wouldn't even need the door shut because the fridge is so quiet. And the feet that you can adjust that foot. Adapted so easy, you just use your fingers to move it. That was brilliant. Now, I'm going to plan to do a review on the machine, washing machine. It's not new, it's somewhat, maybe seven years old. Same with the tumble dryer, we brought them together. So, I'll do a review on those in the future. Um, not more to say about this fridge, fr fridge freezer. Again, you can get in black. I'm not sure about silver. If you can get in silver, go ahead. Um, it's three hundred and sixty pound dollars. Yeah, we go on holiday to England, so I get confused. We're American, so it's dollars. And um, three hundred and sixty dollars nine nine was pretty good. Um, so I guess this is it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, view the video, also share it, and comment down on what you thought. Um, and any recommendations, go ahead. I will be reviewing the washing machine and tumble dryer, as I said before. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya for now. Bye. And don't forget. And that's it is a very, very good company.